For the past 10 days, Araceli Kaheke was escorted to and from the Supreme Court in Belmapan, as both the defense and prosecution presented arguments which would essentially decide her fate. In the end, it all came down to a witness statement allegedly given by this man, Brandon Budna. Budna, who has been stricken with vision loss, has maintained that what is in the statement is not what really happened. Dickie Bradley then objected to the statement being used. In fact, what was in transpiring in court, I felt that I ought to object to the statement being tendered. And so the prosecution put forward their arguments and their submissions, and I put forward my arguments and submissions, and the judge said he would give his decision at a later date, this, this day. And so no doubt based on all the submissions and the cases and the arguments that occurred from both sides, he went and did his own research and looked at the law. The law argued from my side, the law argued from the other side. And this morning, his ruling was that in the circumstances of what transpired, in the interest of a fair trial, on the basis that there had been some some irregularity of a serious nature that occurred when officials go and pick on a blind man inside a jail who has been charged for a murder. He gave his reasons and he quoted the law on the matter. And his reason was that he would not allow the statement to be tendered. And with the statement out the door and the only link between the murder and Araceli Kaheke broken, the prosecution's case folded. We continued the trial. We continued and they called another witness and while that witness was testifying word came to the prosecutor that guess what just crashed the whole thing man and so the prosecutor announced to his lordship that his instructions were to not offer any further evidence in the matter when that happens in a court when you have presented evidence and you either close your case at the end of all your witnesses or, or close before your witnesses and the lawyer on the other side sees that in fact there is no evidence against Araceli Kaheke, then the lawyer's duty, the duty that I have was to make a submission to the judge that what has transpired in the presence of the jury, what has taken place, is that there is no evidence, then nobody has linked Araceli to anything, nothing, nothing. According to Bradley, neither Kaheke or the three men originally charged with Raylene Dyer's murder can be charged again for the same crime. But there is an indication from Director of Public Prosecution, Cheryl Lynn Vidal, that her office will appeal. There would have to be another trial. You can't pick up where we left off. The jury has brought a verdict and they have gone. So if a higher court says that, oh, despite what happened, but they are the ones that, they are the ones that call it off. Huh? They had other evidence to show that Araceli had the child, as your reporter is asking. That would have been cleared up very easy because it would come from the statement, but they're the ones that call it off. Sometimes you can't get back you know. While the Supreme Court has freed Kaheke and the three men who were accused of Raylene Dyer's brutal, disturbing murder, emotions on the streets are flaring. We ask Bradley, legal standing aside, for his personal perspective on the entire trial. Whoever killed Raylene, I will tell you my feeling on that matter. God will punish them in this life, not in the afterlife. Whoever killed that young lady, and if it is true they killed her in the manner, they will suffer and punish for it. But all of us can understand the feeling of the family if they feel like justice has not been done, if they feel that somehow, I, don't, I could just imagine how they feel, okay? So the situation is that the matter has finally come to a court of law where you leave out the emotions and you deal with the facts and the evidence. And their anger should be at the officers who investigated the matter and caused the case to collapse. I'm not going to pick it out of Araceli or pick it out of the lady. They may have believed and they may feel genuinely that Araceli involved in the death. Who am I to say I am going by the evidence presented to me? Araceli Kaheke is free tonight, but where her innocence or guilt are concerned, the public jury is still out. Mike Rodon for News 5.